I really hope no one knocks at the door because I am actually surrounded, like barricaded in by bags and I might not make it. That's a lie. I will make it. There will be a bag avalanche though. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be talking you through my bag collection, which has been a long time coming. In all honesty, I've been putting it off because there's a lot of bags. I'm surrounded by 22, 22 bags, 22 of my designer bags. This is not including more high street bags and it also doesn't include the two bags that i currently have on depop either which are still available i will share my depop somewhere in the info box if you want to go and check it out and to be honest looking at the collection i'm happy to downsize like i'm looking forward to downsizing i can see that it's definitely something that needs to happen i very rarely get them all out like this and look at them and i can see there's definitely a couple that i would be happy to find a better home for there's definitely a few that just feel like they don't fit in the collection anymore i'm going to try and whiz through these and be as concise as possible however you may want to get some snacks something to drink because it might still be a long one so two things number one i've posted a little question box on instagram stories so that hopefully i'll be able to answer all of your questions that you guys have about certain bags but if there is anything that you want to know that i don't answer please drop it in the comments i'll do my best to answer your question i also realized that we were missing a bag and I had to go and get it from the office. So we now have 23. So I'm going to get started with my smaller bags. I'm going to whiz through them because my smaller bags really don't like thrill me that much. This is actually an area of my bag collection that I would say needs a little bit of attention giving to it, a little bit of like consideration. I think it just needs work. Basically, I have a lot of black bags and when I go out of an evening, I don't always wear black. One of the first bags that I have in my smaller sizes is this YSL clutch. It's like a black velvet it's really gorgeous and then it has the gunmetal hardware and it's got like these little black jewels in it and i just think it's stunning i still love this bag so much i don't get too much wear out of it obviously because it's an evening bag and i have not been places for the past like year or so but yeah this is the kind of size of working with so it fits my phone and my keys as long as i don't have like a big chunky set of keys and then it's got card slots in it so i don't even need to take my card holder out it's really great and then it's got a zip kind of area there for if i want to have any coins or anything like that it's got the little popper closure and then it has a chain which you can make very very long you can take it off i sometimes like tie it and then make it just so it's a little bit of a top handle but the majority of the time i actually just end up taking the chain off i really like using it just as a clutch so that's a lovely little one in my collection i think i got it in 2018 if i'm wearing an all black outfit of an evening and i want to take a little bag this is generally my go-to then we have another ysl clutch which is like the quilted kind of clutch with gold hardware this one i very rarely use if i'm honest i actually didn't buy this one i was gifted it on a work trip with ysl in paris and it's just such a lovely bag it's a lovely memory of that trip but i really do love my little velvet clutch so much so i tend to use that one a lot more than this one but this is one that i will always cherish because the memories attached to this are just so fun then we have a new edition which was a gift from jimmy Choo. i had a little work trip with them in august and they very kindly gifted me this this is a really nice one it's actually much larger than well not much larger but like significantly larger i would say it doesn't look it but when they're actually physically sat next to each other on the surface this one is taller and a little bit wider and it fits a bit more in as well it's got a little bit more give to it but a very similar structure to the ysl on the inside it actually has an extra pocket but the difference with this one in addition to the aesthetic is that you can't remove the chain either it's a really lovely clutch a really nice easy one to style up and then my other tiny baby one that barely fits anything in it is my Valentino Rockstar bag. I really wanted to sell this, but there is something about it. Like I would never really wear this anymore. <laughs> I'm waiting for a wedding where I decide to wear like a color that goes quite well with this or it pops against. I don't know when that's gonna happen, but um, there's something about this bag that I am struggling to let go of. It's very cute. Like the size of it and shape of it is so cute. I love the color. This kind of like sagey color is very, very pretty. It's like a mint greeny, halfway between a mint green and a sage. Really, really stunning. I love Love the chain on this it's so intricate it's quite a thick chain that's got a lot of like loops through it i just think it's really stunning but yeah anyway i got this one years ago i actually got a little bit of a press discount on it from louisa Roma, so i think it cost me about 500 pounds got a little pocket at the back and then not much else going on in there apart from a little authentication card and that's about it okay now we get on to some bags that are a little bit more fun the first of which on instagram you guys are already asking about so much so this is my fendi camera bag this when it catches the light you can kind of see how it doesn't look brand new anymore it's very like 
well loved it's still holding up well but you know when you can just tell that a bag has been like loved and worn religiously like that is this bag i'm pretty sure this is molded to the shape of my body look at that so this bag i bought in 2018 i actually bought it around the same time i bought the ysl clutch and i love this bag so much it has been such a great addition to my wardrobe to my bag wardrobe it fits a good amount i can get my phone in here my vlogging camera which i just went to show you but i'm actually looking right at my keys hand sani card holder yeah this is one that uh has a lot of stuff in it i literally use this on a daily basis this one is always out if i'm just popping out to walk the dog this is what goes on if i'm just popping out to the shops this is generally what goes on if you're looking for like a first bag something that's like for every day use and you don't have to carry a lot like this wouldn't be like a work everyday use bag but like casual personal everyday use and you obviously don't have children because let's not talk about the, the amount of stuff you have to cart around you are looking for something that just holds your own personal things on a daily basis this one is amazing i would say any camera bag ysl do amazing camera bags which also do lovely camera bags like this style of bag is honestly the most useful to have in your wardrobe it just tends to go with everything there's never been an outfit that i thought this really clashes with that i have actually dressed this bag up and worn it with like a skirt and a blazer i'll try and pop a picture here and i i love that look that was a fashion week look and i loved that look i still love that look today but i also wear it with like my cycle shorts and a sweatshirt this bag like this is the girl that can do both I love her and I'm pretty sure they've increased the price of this a lot. On that subject, that is one of the reasons why I'm going to link to as many bags as I can, but I won't be saying what I paid for these, partly because I don't have that kind of memory. That is like encyclopedic memory but also the price increase will have been a fair amount since i started buying a lot of my bags especially a couple of the chanel's there have been multiple price increases since i bought a couple of those so that will be completely different now as well i'm pretty sure the dior book totes have gone up in price as well so i will link to everything but i don't feel like it's super useful me saying what i paid like a couple of years ago moving on we have a bag that actually fits really nicely with what I'm wearing right now. But weirdly, I don't wear enough. I love this bag. However, I find the branding on it. I don't feel like it suits me that much right now. This is like the perfect neutral. I'm just, I'm scared to say it, but after so many years of loving the Sports Luxe vibe, I don't think, I actually, my throat is choking up. I don't think it's for me anymore. I think I may have outgrown it. And that makes me really sad. But yeah, I'm... On the fence about this one however there have been bags in my collection that i have come away from for quite a long time and then gone back to like there was a bag that'll be coming up soon that i bought lots of you will know for christmas and then i had so many questions over the summer because everyone was like where is it why has it not been worn what is going on and sometimes i just i'm not gelling with a bag at that point in time or at that season so maybe this is just we're having a moment where we need some space from each other one that i always come back to is my chanel boy this was my third ever designer bag purchase this is stunning i have zero regrets about ever buying this it's so gorgeous it's worn very well yeah it's doing really well it's held up very well like the sides are holding up quite well so a nice everyday one if i am going out not needing to carry much but i want to look a little bit fancy but it's also a great bag that you can really dress up or down like i could take this out for evening wear or for day wear it is such a beautiful versatile bag it's remained a real classic timeless piece in my wardrobe i will never tire of it so the next bag is the other bag in my collection that matches what i'm wearing very well this is supposed to be a great evening bag in my collection one that i reach for if i'm wearing lots of neutral tones i don't wear this and it really annoys me that i don't wear this it's such a cute bag like you're kind of meant to wear it like this and the jadior is like here is that how you say it but this annoys me a lot i don't wear this like day to day like for every day because it doesn't have a long strap i should really maybe if i was feeling like i really wanted to work with this I should buy a longer strap so that I could get day-to-day -day wear out of this because the size of it and the style of it does make for an, a great everyday bag. But this one just doesn't really wow me so much. So that is a bit of a sad one. But a bag that I have got a lot of wear out of over the years is the Chloe Faye backpack in tan. This is the mini size. So I think they do a larger size. I think they still make these. This I actually 
own two of. I have this thing, if, you, if you're new here, I, this sounds so excessive and I'm so sorry. I have this thing where I tend to, if I love something, I tend to buy it in twos, which is a habit that I really need to get out of. I own this in a like teal blue as well, which is one of the bags that's on my Depop. I don't get the wear out of it now in comparison to the wear that I used to get out of it, but I still would reach for it every so often. And I could justify keeping one of the bags in my wardrobe, but definitely not both. I hate having bags in my wardrobe that I'm really, really not wearing. So the blue one is on my Depop right now. In terms of wear and tear, these do wear quite quickly. The suede on the top is just very easily susceptible to like, if you've got dirt on your fingers, for example, it's not ideal. I found that the Chloe does like fade. Yeah, I don't know if you can see. The Chloe is like really hard to see on them now. It really like, after you kind of like, touch this area a lot to take the popper off like this it's quite a stiff one it does tend to wear down a little bit but apart from that the wear and tear on this one is fairly minimal you get a little bit of wear from where this like clasp rubs on the loop it's a nice little one to have in my wardrobe but not one that i get a lot of wear out of now but back when i bought this which i think was like 2018 i loved this so much it is so cute so so cute so yeah that is one that i will always have in my wardrobe i can't see me selling that one on anytime soon it's just such a sweet little bag and speaking of sweet little bags this is a new edition from 2021 i love this i love it so much this brings me a lot of joy over the past i would say year or so maybe two years i've really started to try and incorporate bags into my collection that have more texture on them being someone that wears a lot of neutrals it's something that i feel like is quite important in spicing up my wardrobe and keeping it looking really cute and not super monotonous and this was such a great addition to my wardrobe for the summer. I love this so much. The black trim on this works perfectly in with the fact that I wear a lot of black in the summer and ties this cute little straw bag in with a black outfit so perfectly. I love the fact that the top handle is also black as well and then the back is mostly black too. I also love the way it pops open so you like pull the L and then it like pops out. This is the YSL Cassandra bag just in the raffia style and it's basically impossible to get hold of at the moment. I'm so glad I bought this one I did. It fits my phone really really nicely, nice and easily, like it can fit sideways as well. I think it's a great bag if you're looking for a style of bag that works like really well for day to day. It looks very like polished and cute holds a lot like it's just very easy to incorporate into your wardrobe i would say the cassandra style of bag not necessarily the raffia style it comes in so many colors so it is very versatile and there's something for everyone i would say that is a great style of bag if you have like a very feminine style or you like a very feminine bag it's a great style of bag to go for and would be a great like first bag and then we have the chloe test bag this is in the brown croc this bag is gorgeous and one of the ones that i get asked about on a regular basis. I actually don't wear this that much. It's one that I come back to with regards to selling a lot, but it's so beautiful. Like the way it is designed to me is just stunning. It has a top handle. It has a long strap, which is really nice and thick. Very like Western style, I wanna say. The strap is also removable, I believe. You just pop this little bit, yeah. There we go. So nice and easy to remove. So you could just have it as like the top handle situation. It's really easy to like get into. It's just one popper, one section in the middle of the bag, and then a little tiny pocket at the front there. Nothing on the back. Really, really simple on the inside, but fits so much in it. It's very similar, I would say, in size to the YSL Sandra. Although, because it's round, it's harder to fit like square items in. But this wouldn't be one that I would recommend. Like I know a lot of people are really, really in love with this style of bag. For me, it wouldn't be one that I'd recommend as like a first purchase or like a must have because it is a little bit harder to work with like practically on an everyday basis. And then we have two, <laughs> I'm gonna have to show you these together because this is ridiculous. We have two purchases from this year. I bought these in March. I was meant to keep one. I ended up keeping both because I couldn't choose between. In hindsight, I should have just kept the yellow bag, which I love so much. I love it so much. It's so gorgeous. I love them both. So this is the other one. These are the YSL Sac Du Jours in the small size. I love both of these bags. These are gorgeous bags. The craftsmanship is gorgeous, but it's very simple. So you don't have like sections on the inside. It's literally like just one whole section. There's no like zip or anything. I personally don't mind that there's no zip. I am renowned for never zipping up my bags. But yeah, this fits a great amount in it. It's an excellent 
day bag like if you need to like carry around a fair amount of stuff like i would say if you had to have say a little camera a phone wallet like an actual like wallet keys maybe like a few items of makeup even like a small diary like you can fit a good amount in here i can fit snacks in here and i love that so i have the sac de jour in the they call it yellow however i am well aware that lots of you will tell me this bag is orange but if ysl tell me it's yellow i'm gonna i'm gonna call it yellow and then we have the beige it's a bit more of a yellow beige if anything so if i'm wearing something a bit more warm toned it doesn't always vibe it's not necessarily the easiest beige in the world to style i think coming into winter this will be worn a lot more did i need both absolutely not could i make my mind up at the time no was it very excessive yes are we moving on yeah okay next we are moving on to some bags that really excite me really really excite me first up this one's a bit heavy because it's actually the bag that i have been using so much at the moment this is the louis vuitton pochette matisse in the i can't remember what they call this but it's basically like the is it reverse monogram it's got like the it's the classic pochette matisse on the lower half with the dark brown and little tan accents and then it's the reverse on the top which is so gorgeous up until I would say a couple of months ago, I thought I made a big mistake with this one. But now that we've been through that summer to autumn transitional period, this was like the perfect bag for that. And it's such a great autumn bag. I know it's gonna be such a great winter bag. I think it maybe just wasn't the one for me during the spring. I was definitely gravitating towards like more colorful bags. So like I said, with the Balenciaga, sometimes you just like aren't vibing with something at that point in time. But this is just gonna be one of those items that I have in my wardrobe for ever. It has removable straps which is great not that i ever really use that because i actually really like some bags i only like using as like top handle bags but this is not one of them it is a bit more of a casual bag but the fact that it's top handle and it has some gold hardware on it and stuff it can be dressed up a little bit but for like a special occasion i don't think i'd be using this one you pop these two little bits on the closure clasp is what we're calling it we pop these two little bits here together whatever this pops open inside we have a divider in the middle a lot of receipts and i've got so much like paracetamol and stuff in here got a pocket at the back as well i am really enjoying bags of this size at the moment they are very very handy so oh someone has also just asked about the clasp on this and whether it's easy to like open i've got to say like sometimes when i pop it it doesn't open and then sometimes I pop it and it does open. So it isn't the easiest clasp to work with. However, I feel like it's very secure, which I like. The next one is my new, my new baby. I really can't review this one in depth really right now because this is, this is brand new. This is the Chanel 19 in the, like, I don't know what this texture, like this material is actually called. I call it like tweed, but I don't know if that's right. So whatever it is actually called, I will put on screen because I'm actually not sure, but I love this bag so much. It is so fun. It's the best size, very similar to the Pochette Matisse. I always hold the monkey, so I actually don't know if they look like they're the same. But yeah, very, very similar size, really similar vibe, to be honest. I actually started wearing the Porsche Matisse loads after I bought this one. And I think there's definitely like a particular style that I'm really enjoying at the moment. Like this has a flap on the back, which could easily fit like your phone or some kind of essential that you want to like have easy access to. It also has the top flap, but then on the inside, there's just one whole section. There is a little pocket at the back. And then that is literally... It, but it fits all the same stuff as the Porsche Matisse basically so really nice and like easy and practical for everyday wear however not so practical in terms of like weather so I think this is more of a fair weather bag and this is one that I could literally wear out if it was pouring it down with rain and I really like that so yeah I'm gonna have to sneak that into the top five even though it's very new because I just love it I have been talking for so long my camera actually just fell asleep wild so moving on to the next size up of bags this is actually really hard. I wasn't sure whether to do these before the Louis Vuitton and Chanel because it's really hard to tell like what holds more. So I'm just gonna go with these as being larger, but I'm not actually sure that they are. For those of you that are new here, I not only buy things in pairs, I buy things in like quads. Quad, I've got quadruplets in terms of Givenchy and Tagonas. These two are two of my more recent Antigona purchases. I really like this size. These are very cute for dressing up like active wear like a real cute sport luxe kind of vibe these actually come with straps as well you can see there's a little loop on the side which is for the straps i never use the straps on these it annoys me because the straps are actually really long these are the mini antigonas so the small antigonas have a much thicker strap which we'll see in a second but yeah i own two 
of the minis i really like them i love the black croc on this it's so like glam works very very nicely with like a leather trouser kind of tan blazer kind of outfit i have one that's in mind that i will put here i love this bag it's so beautiful so stunning i really love the antigonas in general they are one of my favorite my all-time favorite bag styles and i just think that they are so easy to wear They're very like durable like I don't feel too precious about them. Even the white, I really don't feel too precious about it. These don't get a laptop or anything like that in them. Just a lot of like daily, a lot of daily essentials. If you are looking for a first bag, I would generally say like YSL. Okay, moving on to my more medium sized bags. I'm gonna get started with a favorite of mine, which is so loved. This is a gorgeous like quilted velvet Prada backpack. I don't really own many Prada bags. I owned one before this, which was more like a travel tote. And I have actually sold it on because I just really wasn't getting the right out of it. But this one I love. This is a forever bag in my wardrobe. And the reason for this is when I was younger, my mum had a bag that was very similar to this. It was not Prada. I feel like she would be watching this really wanting me to like disclose that. It was definitely not a Prada bag. And I just vividly remember it from my childhood. And when I saw this bag, it just brought me a lot of joy. It's also like, obviously, because it is a soft like velvet material it's very malleable so you can kind of cram a lot in without really like feeling like your bag is like really out of shape but it's also like the material is thick enough like it's really lined so it doesn't feel too flimsy and even if you put quite a lot in and stuff quite a lot in it never looks like out of shape it's got these cute little pockets on the front which I always end up finding like random stuff in but yeah it does really hold a very good amount and I love it for that next we have a bag that's kind of along a similar vibe again could fit a laptop at a push but I don't like to cram a laptop into this one this is the Balenciaga city bag which is actually one of the ones that whenever I show it and whenever I start wearing it again I get a lot of dms about selling this one is so unique not only to my collection but also in terms of like Balenciaga cities I very rarely see this knocking around both pre-loved and I don't think they've like brought it back out again so this is the black suede and it's got gold hardware like a really gorgeous like yellow gold hardware I believe Kim Kardashian had this one and I think that is why it was very very sought after i absolutely love it it's got a really nice like short strap so a great one for like throwing over your shoulder i tend to get a lot of wear out of this in the summer not only because of the material but the vibe of it actually because of the suede lends it to being a bit more like boho vibes so yeah i tend to get a lot of wear out of it in the summer i haven't this summer to be honest but because i haven't been needing a bag of this size really this is one that i will always have in my collection so i just think it's really really stunning the next bag is a real classic this is the chanel classic flap in the jumbo size i love the jumbo because i really like an oversized bag and I love the classic flaps, but I just, even with the medium, wasn't really finding that they were big enough for me. They just didn't really feel right for me. I went for just like the classic like lambskin. It has silver hardware. I really wanted something that didn't feel too dressy and I don't regret that decision at all. I really love the fact that I went for silver because it's such a glam bag and I personally think that silver comes across a lot more casual. So that kind of toned it down a little bit and I just think it's so chic. I also really like the fact that I obviously have the Chanel Boy in the light gold. And I really like the fact that I had light gold and not like yellow gold or the antique gold hardware because it was a bit more like subtle. And I definitely think that the silver on this is more subtle as well and just works perfectly for me. This again has the pocket on the back. What I would say is the things that no one ever tells you about getting one of these. Number one, this bit. This is like, I've spoken to a lot of other people that have the classic flaps and they're renowned for doing this. And they don't warn you about it is that that little kind of like ridge there can get like smushed down by the button up the top here if you're not very careful when you close it, which is very annoying. It can also mark very, very easily. So if you don't store it right, you can get little marks here on the bag. If you go anywhere near this with long nails, it's going to mark. I'm not gonna lie, I had to make my peace with that when I bought it, that this bag was probably going to end up looking very well loved because I wasn't prepared to go for the grain leather because I don't like it. I personally just don't like it as much. Okay, we're on the home stretch now, people. So back to the Antigonas. I have another two to show you. We have the OG, she's back. My mom generally has this one because I really don't get that much wear out of it. She adores it. She absolutely loves it. It's the Givenchy Antigona in the small size, like that's not small, in the grainy leather and it is the color pebble. 
they actually brought this back i don't know if they still have it on sale but they definitely did like this time last year and that brought me so much joy because i know how many of you loved this bag and really wanted to get your hands on it this is yeah this is the og so it's got the silver hardware medium size this one actually it looks like it's still in good condition but it's not it's really been loved like really loved i have a bag organizer from amazon which just about fits in i will link it if you want but you have to really stuff it and it to begin with like when it first went in it didn't really want to go in and it was quite hard to close it but the bag organizer helps to fill it out a little bit more so it is it's looking a lot better than it was but anyway as you can see this is my other one this is the antagona in black silver hardware smooth leather i absolutely love it the only thing i would say is regarding the strap these straps on the old style you can't take off which i really liked however on the newer antagonas the straps actually have like a on the clasps have a little bit where they kind of like dip in and you can remove the straps which some people might be thinking great and some people who own the bags will know that sometimes you're walking down the street or you're like fiddling with the bag and these will just wiggle off like that and you'll drop your bag and that really has happened to me so that is the only con i would say about if you're buying a small antagona now however if you're looking for a pre-loved one they don't have that you just have to make sure you get like a 2016 2015 version but yeah i love these bags and i do think you get a lot for your money with the Givenchy antagonas like they really they're quite weighty they feel like really fab quality you can fit so much in them and they're great for daily use right the final two we are onto my tote bags now my biggest bags i have the saint laurent Reeve Gauche, which is such a great bag. And I think when I bought this, everyone was like, that will hang around for about like five minutes and you'll never see it again. And it's gonna be such a trend bag. They've brought it out in so many different colorways now and its moment has really like lasted. And I'm so, so happy about that. Mine, as you can see, it's very loved. It likes to do its own thing like shape wise now. And I'm totally okay with that. I use this actually a lot. I could probably do the wipe if I'm honest. I can't tell if it's like still the colour it was when I first bought it if I'm very very honest. It's definitely looking a little bit worn and loved but I have absolutely loved this bag and I still love this bag. I will continue to love this bag. It's a great one as like hand luggage on holiday. It's a great one for like if you're just out and about during the summer. I find this goes with a lot of my summer outfits and if I need to carry like a lot of things this is a great bag and I actually do get a lot more use out of it than you might initially think. But yeah, we're definitely coming into the season now where this one goes to sleep for the winter at Hibernates. In terms of the inside, this is an absolute mess. We have a big pocket here and then it's completely open so what i have done is ordered bag organizers i have this one here which i talked about before i will link to it if i still can and this one flicks between this and the next tote bag it actually has room to roam about in this bag because this bag is actually slightly longer than my other tote bag but i find it having an organizer in these kind of bags very very handy unless i'm like going on a flight and i'm really trying to cram as much in as i physically can and then i would go without the organizer but yeah i love that bag and then we also have the dior book tote which i love this to me is like a little mini work of art i just think it's so cool i love embroidery on a bag i love a bit of texture i think they're gorgeous and they're such handy they're actually very practical bags i do use these a lot the saint laurent reef is actually better if it rains because it has that coating whereas this is obviously like a actual fabric but this one works a lot better with winter coloring so i would use this on a like non rainy winter day my felt organizer actually fits fully into this bag like perfectly like it was made for the bag and i find that very handy if i want to carry like pens books that kind of thing this is another one that i have noticed the price increase a lot on this as well i don't know if i buy this now at the price that it sits at because i think it now sits at i'm gonna google please hold so this now retails i bought this for 1000 either 1700 or 1800 pounds pre-loved this retails for 2400 pounds now new and that's the exact like monogram this exact size they do do it in a smaller size as well oh the small is only 100 pounds cheaper what a scam oh my god the reef gauche is only 790 pounds that is a great deal i actually didn't realize it was that price that's fab if you don't need a tote bag and you're not going to be happy with the fact that it doesn't come with like any form of anything on the inside no zip closure nothing is very basic like what you get for the price but it is so beautifully made it's not particularly i had a lot of questions on the shape of it i have stuff in it at the moment which i need to take out because it's warping it it doesn't get particularly misshapen but i do like to use the bag organizer to give it more structure i think it really helps it to keep its shape because it can like pop 
in and out. It is still a fabric bag. It's not got any kind of like boning along the center to kind of like keep this part of it like flush. But yeah, I would say the uh, handles on this are, I'm not even giving you a close up. The handles on this are gross. Yeah, it's definitely one of those bags that I don't think will age particularly beautifully. So those are all of my bags. To recap on the top five, which I've kind of been doing as I've been going along, Number one, the best starter bag, the best like little everyday bag, the best camera bag is one of my best purchases. I cannot fault this. I'm so, so happy with it. And my cost per wear on this is ridiculously low. So I love this one so much. Second, an oldie, but a goodie, my Chanel boy. I love it. Yes, very expensive, but a really great all rounder. We also have the Porsche Matisse, which I love because I was very happy with the price versus the size of it, how durable it is, the fact that it's structured but not too structured. I think it's a really great everyday bag. It's not like super, super affordable on the scale of like entry level bags. It's not like under the a thousand pound mark, but I think for what you pay, you get a decent quality bag with a good amount of like space and size with this one. And I'm really, really happy with that. In fourth, I'm gonna go with my classic flap just because it is the ultimate bag. And in terms of just my love for it, it needs to be in the top five. It brings me so much joy. And then finally, my new baby. And this might be cheating. Maybe it should be a Givenchy Antigona, but I just think that I love how much space it has in it and the fact that it's such a great everyday bag. It's so versatile, much like the Jumbo Classic Flap. It just elevates an outfit so beautifully. I mean, I couldn't not put it in the top five. Let's just face it, just let me live, people. Let me live. So that is it for my bag collection, my 2021 bag collection. I think this one was definitely very, very overdue. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Like I said, if you do have any more questions about any of the bags, pop them in the comments below and I'll do my best to get back to you. But I hope you're all having a lovely day and you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Love you, bye.